right, everybody. New video regarding the 1.5 beta version of the Victron driver. Now, you may actually see it as version 1.51. There's a small tweak that we did to the driver that affecting some customers, so we released it. Now, uh, before we begin, let's just kind of give you the overall setup. We've got two 300 HP batteries. They're connected via cables. One of the cables has the waterproof resistant jacket uh, cover on there. That's something that we'll have available very soon. We have two of our V2 cables, which is what we're sending out now. We have a Serbo SGX and we're connected to it. Now, one thing to note, you will want to make sure that you are on version, the latest version. In this case, uh, we are on, I believe, version 3.4. So 3.41 actually. So you'll want to make sure you're on the latest version of the Victron and uh you know whatever system you have i think this may work on 3.3 but to be safe make sure in version 3.41 which is the latest version and that's gonna basically be what we're using in today's setup so what is the big deal with version 1.5 well if anyone that has been using our app will know we allow you to create virtual batteries which basically means you can combine multiple small batteries and have them appear as one big large giant battery so in the case, if you get two batteries in parallel, uh, if you want to appear, and they're both 300 amp hours, if you want to have them appear as a 12 volt, 600 amp hour battery, you can do that in our app. So if we connect here, you can see we will get to here, we'll connect to it. And then once we're there, um, it is going to show, we can say if it's in series or parallel, if it's in parallel, we can go ahead and hit parallel and uh, connect to it. And once connected, we can have it appear as one big giant battery. Now, just for this demo purposes, we intentionally kind of messed with the state of charge a little bit so that one appears 17.6 at 26 and the other one's 32.93. So what does that do? A combined state of charge is 25.1. We can see the total volts and total watts. So this is not really doing anything, but as far as the system is concerned, it's gonna, our app is treating it as a 600 amp hour 12 volt battery okay so that's sort of the basic idea behind it virtual batteries combine the batteries now on our driver especially up to 1.4 they appear fine as separate batteries and that's fine but a lot of people said you know i really need this to show up as one big battery because that's the only way i know the right capacity so we've sort of taken the same approach of this virtual battery and added it here and it's supporting both series and uh, parallel. It is based on the battery aggregator project, but we've heavily modified it to where it almost doesn't really seem like anything. But let's sort of discuss how this sort of works. Okay, so by the way, if in case you don't know, V2, we have a much smaller, slimmer connector. So you'll have no problems connecting to the, uh, to the servo. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to these two ports and show you how it appears. So give me a second. All right, so when we're connected, as you can see, we have no more problems. You know, the version two cable actually will give you sort of a blink notification. So you have a transmit LED and a receive LED. It does take a little bit, but as you can see, it's starting to light up. So it's being detected and we'll sort of see it appear. Okay, see the 278 disappeared. And then we see the other one starting to sort of light up. So we sort of see that as well. All right, so let's check out what happened. So notice we got our two batteries, okay? They're appearing now, but we also have this thing called SFK Virtual Battery Venus OS. Hmm, what is all this about? It has 25%, but it has 26 volts. That's very strange. We're wanting to run these in parallel. So let's see what we can do to investigate this. So if we go here and we go uh, to the virtual battery, we have some options. Okay. So let's go down to, uh, let's see here. We'll go to the system. Okay. And then we can see virtual battery setup. Now, just like we had in the app where we set it up as parallel, we can go and decide how this battery is set up if it's parallel or in series or what. So We'll press the space bar and we'll say these are two in parallel. Okay. And then we'll go back. And 
and go back. Okay. Now look, it's saying 25%, which is sort of the combination of 17 and 33. And now this is appearing as a combined battery. So essentially what it's doing is taking these two and combining it that. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can now assign this as a VRM instance and see what's going on here. So if we see here and we go to details, okay, we can sort of see the lowest voltage, highest cell voltage, all this other stuff. But notice how the install capacity is now 600 amp hours and it says available capacity 150 amp hours. So it knows that these are both 300 amp hours because it read it from these individual batteries. But since it's a virtual battery, it can sort of combine that. And it actually gets cooler than that because also for um, basically the device, if you go here, sorry, uh, if we go here to the device, We can see the connection type is D-Bus, and we can sort of see that it's there. You can also assign a custom name to it. It has its own VRM instance, so you can sign a custom name. It has its own VRM instance, serial number. Well, it doesn't really have a real serial number, but um, you can sort of see what sort of information it has and assign, like I said, assign a VRM instance to it so that it appears as its own battery. And then, um, you know, you've got your parameters and stuff like your charge limits have doubled. So if we see here now it's, it's letting us charge this battery at 140 amps and discharge at 190 amps, which is exactly double which each one of these are. So if we look at our individual battery, OK, and we go to parameters, these, sorry, we go to device. Um, these have. You know, that's version 1.5 beta, but we have our serial numbers here. And I think in our parameters, uh, we have charge limit 70, discharge limit 95. Now, that's just something we put in there. You can't, in a new version, we'll let you change it. But what it does is the virtual battery will combine everything. So if you've got three, your charge will 70 plus 70 plus 70. So you have 2100 amp hour uh, amps that you can charge it. And if you discharge it, you've got 95. Well, you just combine all three of those. So you end up with like, uh, what would it be? 190, 180, uh, 285 amp hour amps that you can charge it as. And that's what we're seeing here. If we go back to the virtual battery is that um, in the virtual battery now, um, if we go here, See here, and we go here, and in the parameters, we'll see that it essentially doubles it. So if you go with three or four, however many, I mean, like I said, we don't recommend more than four in parallel in one bank, but if you had four in parallel, it would basically parallel all those. Now, um, so that's the virtual battery, and I think as you can see, there's a lot of opportunities that they, this can sort of do not only will it work in series where it'll double the voltage if you're running a you know high voltage inverter but it will also um you know work in parallel which is what most people are doing so both parallel and series are supported and you can basically have your batteries appear as one big battery and then like i said just go to the um you know system um for the settings and you can assign this battery to the DVCC as your main controlling BMS. So if you enable this, you know, um, you can choose which, which, which one is it going to be. So instead of use sensor, uh, you can go in here and, um, well, temperature sensor. Well, I guess you could say that that's fine, but controlling BMS here, you can go in and set the virtual battery as the main controlling BMS. So it will take sort of events from any available battery. If any battery throws an alarm, low state of charge, it will report back to the virtual virtual battery. And that way you can sort of have that. And then also this can also control the, the thing. So you can set that up. 
But uh, anyway, hopefully that gives you guys some ideas, some changes in there. And um, I think once you put this in there, people are just going to really open up uh, um, some cool options. Now you can see your batteries individually and also as a combined big battery. So, uh, you know, um, it'll give you the best of both worlds. Anyway, I uh, just want to give you an update. Uh, a lot of people had some questions regarding this. So we'll be releasing uh, these, these drivers to check back on our website. And then we'll just go from there. All right. Thank you very much.